The breakdown in a physical theory is called, well, a singularity in the theory. Singularities aren't necessarily geometric point-like things. They're just places where your equations stop working. Um, electromagnetism has this famous divergence of the self-energy of, of point particles. General relativity famously has singularities. Well, everyone's heard of the singularities of the Big Bang and black holes and various other places where general relativity breaks down. Newtonian mechanics has weird singular behavior in certain kinds of systems. Yeah. Yep. Um, there's a famous paper by Shia in the 1990s on a five-body system that exhibits singular behavior. And it was originally predicted that, that this could exist by Poincaré, I think, a century earlier. So, you know, all these theories have places where they break down. And, and what do we do as, as, as you know, uh, as philosophers, as scientists, as physicists, whatever, we look at these theories and we go, okay, the theories work in these regimes. Sometimes they make very unintuitive claims or predictions, and we're okay with that. We like weird, cool physics, as long as it's self-consistent. And there are certain places in which the theory breaks down, and we'll need to, you know, either replace the theory with something else if we're lucky. If we're unlucky, maybe we won't find a better theory that will replace it, whatever. Quantum mechanics is kind of like that, right? There are regimes in which you're working with microscopic systems, and quantum mechanics is nice and self-consistent. We don't run into these ambiguities or inconsistencies. Um, it's a little unintuitive in some of these situations, sure. But when you confront something like the Wigner's friend thought experiment and other thought experiments people have, have proposed over the years, now you're talking not about things being unintuitive. You're talking about a singularity in the theory. You're talking about an inconsistency. You're talking about something where the theory is just broken. 